Suddenly, Silver Armlet died from an acute case of the bends. Ali just shrugged and went back home to live in his castle, happily ever after. The end! How'd you like my imitation of the narrator? Pretty good, huh? It's what I always wish he would say, but he just won't do it. I don't know why. So that means more Beyond Oasis. Previously, we went through a treasure cave and got a whole bunch of awesome stuff. Omega Swords, Hyper Bombs, and Broadswords that I'm going to bleed through. I have too many swords in my inventory. And also a whole bunch of healing items. Actually, I don't have enough. There's three more slots open. I need to fill them up. Luckily, there's a mountain fortress right here. And it's going to be full of stuff too. It's also going to be full of bad guys, so I need to beat with my sword. These guys like using their spears. I don't like them. They also like using bombs and hanging out on ledges, like they're doing right here. That's my solution. I don't want cheese. I want good stuff. You! Do you have something good for me? Besides death? That's the sound of him giving me death. Check this out! I'm gonna clean this whole room out of bombs. You! Receive bomb and like it! Oh, he did not receive bomb. Receive bomb again, please. Be careful, do not do this swing when hitting a bomb. You'll smack it like a baseball and it'll shoot off in a random direction. Yay! One gold key, two doors. Man, it's getting too sexy in here for Sega. But, you use the key on this door first. It's a secret room full of stuff. And also turrets. Well, I'm so happy about them giving them to giving me turrets, I'm gonna give them bombs. The very same bombs I just got. These turrets look annoying, but they only fire when you cross their line of sight. There is worse turrets, believe me. There's ones that home in on you. And for some reason, these bullets will knock you back in the most annoying ways possible. Yep, that's a bomb for you, and grapes for me. I need to make some room. That is lettuce. Yeah, it's not that great. In fact, there's another HPSP item that I skipped. It's miniature mushrooms. They're dropped by zombies. They're not that great. They're like cheese, but they heal everything. Now, it looks like we can summon Ditto in this room, but if we try doing that... She'll try to drop rocks on us! Ditto! I just want to summon you! I don't need this today. Ow! Thanks a lot, Ditto. I hate you now. Get out of here. Ah! Ah, I hate that guy. Did you see what he was doing? They run at you at times. And they're really hard to dodge. Because of those mesas. Solve their problems by kicking them to death, like I did just there. And now we got these things. Remember Legend of Zelda? Those spike blocks that chase you? They work the exact same way. It's like Sega was ripping off Legend of Zelda. These two south exits will just lead you to a balcony and try to get you spiked. Don't do either. And we don't have a green key for that door just yet, but hopefully there's a green key in here. In fact, there is. And a spear guy. And an arrow guy. And another spear guy. Oh boy! It's like I caught them on a lunch break and they're all coming back from their shift. That's my solution to getting charged at by a spear guy. Kicking them while they're charging at me. Actually, I hate the spear guys, but I also hate the sword guys. They have more reach than my dagger. That's mean. I don't like it. And another rank up. What rank am I at now, anyway? Rank 4! I'll tell you right now, there's 250 ranks. There's a whole long way to go if you're go going for max rank. And also, let's get rid of some hyper bombs. I'm gonna start throwing bombs at everything I see. Like treasure! Throw bombs at treasure! Yay! Another green key, because we went to a side area. A blue key for secrets. And... Another one of these things. I love those things. They are so great. Alright, let's get out of here. That secret is done with. A lot of these areas will have side exits, which uh, require keys, but they'll always reimburse you the key. So, there's absolutely no punishment for doing so. Going right in this area leads you to turrets and another spear guy. Throw bombs at them! It's what they deserve! Also, you can hold down the button, and Ali will just stand there with the bomb in his hand. 
It won't start going off until after you let go, though. Ah, that spear guy ain't coming back. Let's try out another secret. In Spike Snake Room. Exploding Spike Snake Room. These snakes are new. They will explode at you if you don't kill them immediately. And more treasure to blow up. Yes, power gems! And keys! And that guy has a really wimpy bomb. Let's show him what a real bomb looks like. Boom! Yes, that's what a bomb looks like, alright. And I should show you how to preserve your items in case you don't have room, but I'll do that on a later time. My inventory isn't that desperate yet. And also, all the snakes are dead. Oh well, we'll run across more exploding snakes later. If you don't kill the spear guy, those turrets show back up. But we don't need to mess with them anymore. In fact, I didn't have to mess with them the first time. Unless you come down here and start fighting with this ogre, some more guys start showing up. They get caught on the corners at times. And also, bombs are not effective against ogres. I learned this. I've studied. Ah! They have fire arrows! They are mean! Kill them dead with your kicks. I really like kicking things in this game. I don't know why. It's just so effective, and it stun locks everyone. Yep, that's all the enemies in this room, I bet. And I get some meat for treasure. Ah, uh, what should I make room? Nothing. Yeah, I'll get rid of the lettuce. It heals less anyway. I'm late, I'm late, I'm late! Oh, crap, crap, crap! Did I miss it? Did I miss getting beat up by Ali? No, he did not. In fact, he's right on time. Yep, that guy appears too, but only if you try to exit this room. Sometimes he gets caught in the corners, and then he's just like running at you. That's so silly. Ah! Yes, this is a trap room. All these bombs will try exploding at you. Like that. And also, if that guy that just came in hits that trap at a bomb, it'll start exploding too. In fact, he could kill himself with that trap. Much like what happened here. Um, hello, Sega? Uh, how is that difficult in any way? I hit the bombs back. I'm good like that. But this room I dislike! How is this fair? They have ranged weaponry. And I can't shoot arrows through these spikes, because they just hit the spikes. See, look at him! If, if uh, an enemy is loaded to ground, I can't hit, that, hit them with a bow, but if I crouch down next to that guy, he shoots me in the face. That is not fair! I don't like it! Receive knife and die. Ark! All these people, all these bad guys, they're unfair. They're not fair to anyone. See that? He'll just punch you right in the face. He's not fair. He doesn't know that I am the protagonist and I'm supposed to punch him in the face. But there is no unarmed stat in this game, so... Why did I even mention punching him in the face? I have a dagger right here. I should punch him with a dagger. Like that! Yeah! That treasure right there, don't worry about it. We'll get back to it later. Just enter this room. The Room of Magicka. Look at the guys. They look exactly like the guys from Magicka. All of those random wizard people. And actually, they kind of look like whiz robes, too. Sega, is this some kind of anti-Zelda game? You have the moving spikes, you've got whiz robes here. What's next? We're gonna have Octoroks for some reason? Nah, that's just too silly. We could finally get out of this silly dungeon. We have the red key. But if you have the extra blue key, you could come here. And beat up things with swords. In fact, I think I'm angry enough to use a Omega Sword on these guys now. Yes, this is my solution, Omega Sword. It's how I solve all of my problems. Especially my math ones. Yeah, we can't solve math if it's on fire. I know this. I've studied. We get another power gem. Another broadsword. A ditto call that I'll turn into meat immediately. But I won't use the meat. I have a ditto here. A perfectly good ditto. And more power gems. How many do I have anyway? Oh, I'm almost powered up with ditto. There's only like seven gems left for her. And also, I haven't seen a new spirit in a while. I think that I need to collect more gems. Yeah, we need a new spirit to power up. But sadly, we won't see him for a little while. Probably another video or two. Let's just head through the red door now. 
That's right, this dungeon likes to loop on itself. We're right back at the beginning. Oh, I know the solution. Blow you up. That's not the solution at all. I want to kill you with a bomb. Stand still. Stay still, gargoyles. Yeah, right there. Right there. Get blown up now. Case in note. Bombs are not effective against flying creatures. Get down here. I want to fight you now. I don't like waiting. Waiting makes me angry. And then I start using swords. Well, that's the end of them. Let's do some eavesdropping. Um, I heard some fighting upstairs. Do you think Prince Ali is here? Nah, I'm pretty sure he ain't listening in on this conversation right now. Oh, look, it's Prince Ali. How did we know? And also, what is that shade character they were talking about? It must be the formal name of the Silver Armlet. He looks like he's a shady person. Also, hidden rank up, because it fell behind the, uh... Two and a half D environment that we have going on here. Which actually becomes problematic because uh, sooner, better than later, we're gonna have to do some platforming. And this little aesthetic style that they picked for the game actually makes that kinda difficult. But we beat up everyone! There are no witnesses. Yes, thank you, Mr. Narrator Guy. He's like a bad Let's Player. He talks about what's going on on the screen and nothing else. That's not how you do a Let's Play. You're supposed to have insightful commentary and talk about things that are interesting. As you beat up the bad guys. I just say, hey, I'm gonna beat up bad guys now. Look at that guy. He has armor. He must be high on defense. That's my example of a bad Let's Play. That's my example of killing him with a sword. Oh, look at this mountain. This mountain is the worst. And what was that thing flying at me, too? Alright, kill him with a sword. You can do it, he's right there. See, this is what I'm talking about with the 2.5D. It doesn't work the way you think it should. The sword is clearly going through him. Stand still, darn it! I want to hit you! Ah! Fine, you know, hang around up there. In fact, I think I'm going to start running past enemies. Because while we have a kill counter right here, it's not that important to the game. I mean, at the, at the end of it, they'll give you like a rank or something if you kill a lot of enemies, but... The only other upshot to killing a whole bunch of enemies is to getting rank ups. And sometimes items. And also these things here. These flies? They're mosquitoes. Giant mosquitoes. They will try and suck your blood, which is also your health. As long as you stand still. Jumping like an idiot and swinging your sword usually takes care of them. Excuse me, I'm trying to get through here now. I, you, I know you are enemies and you're at the behest of your leader, but I just want to get on with my day. See you later. I'm going this way now. Get out of my way! Ark! There's so many enemies on this mountain. It's like a gauntlet, but it's outside. Which, luckily, I can restore my HP a little slowly. But, this mountain is actually pretty important. It has new water features that you can summon Ditto from if you're hurting. And also, there's secret items, like that chest up there. I'm gonna need to grab that. Yeah! What are you guys trying to prove? I'm Prince Ali, I'm looking for treasure. Getting in my way is not a great idea. Look at you! You have a sword! But you don't have a name tag, you're a nameless sword guy. Just die. Just fall on the ground and disappear, with a scream sound. And also, that treasure right there. I want to grab that. What the heck is that thing? Ark! It angers me! It's like an evil rat that was upgraded. You could kill these things with fire, too. And they'll jump around. And also, they'll turn into meat if you kill them with fire as well. Nope, no meat for me. In fact, I don't really need it. I have a ditto summon area. That's a fancy sword, what is that? Death Sword! The second most powerful sword in the game. But I got broad swords and two Omega Swords. I'm good. I'm nice and settled on the sword situation. I don't like bows, but I really enjoy swords. They are very effective at getting rid of a whole bunch of enemies at once. And look! Didn't I call it? That thing acts like an Octorok. I don't like it. No sir, I do not. 
Stop shooting things at me. You can also kill enemies by knocking them into other enemies. It's not ve that effective, though. Alright, I'm going down here now. I don't want to deal with those guys. And it's Ditto Gem number 9, I believe. Yes, there is. Alright. As is already evidenced by this mountain, it's going to be a pain in the neck to go through, and I just don't want to go through it right now. Look at these, the enemies are respawning. That is not fair, that is not nice. I'm Roman Chocobo, and next time, we climb this mountain and find out what this wall fortress and shade is all about. Good night, folks.